In this example, I'm going to take these four roots and I'm going to write the simplest polynomial function possible from them and I'm going to write my finished product in standard form. So remember, when you're trying to write a polynomial from roots, each root needs to be written in the form x minus k, where k is the root. So we'll have our polynomial function f of x equals, and we'll just take each root and write it that way, x minus k. So x minus 0, x minus a negative 3, x minus 1, and x minus a negative 1, given that my roots were 0, negative 3, 1, and negative 1, because we had this plus or minus 1 up here. Okay, let's go ahead and clean this up just a little bit. The x minus 0, I don't really need to write the minus 0, I can just put the x out front. And then here we have an x plus 3, and then here we have an x minus 1 and an x plus 1. So to write this in standard form, I'm going to need to multiply all this out. And uh, that won't be too bad because I have some nice patterns here and some easy stuff going on. I can multiply the first two because that's a simple distribution. And the last two I can multiply easily because that's just the difference of squares factorization. So I'll end up with x squared plus 3x. And then for my difference of squares, x squared minus 1. So my only goal now is just to go ahead and finish multiplying this through and make sure it's written in standard form so the degree of each term needs to be in descending order. So I'm going to start with my highest and go to my lowest. So x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. And then here in the middle terms, I notice I have a 3x times an x squared. So let's go ahead and do that now because that will ultimately be an x cubed term. And then I have x squared times negative 1, so minus x squared and then I have 3x times negative 1, which will be negative 3x. So here is the simplest polynomial function possible. And simplest just means I've not multiplied it by any kind of coefficient or anything out front. And so we've just strictly multiplied the roots through. And so given these four roots, here's my simple polynomial function, and it's written in standard form.